there are more options than ever in Helldivers 2 to bring freedom across the galaxy. This time it comes in the form of the Democratic Detonation Premium War Bond. This new batch of gear is all focused around spreading democracy and shrapnel with explosive options for your squad. If you are wondering where to invest your hard-earned medals, we've got some suggestions on the best places to start. First, a disclaimer. Like the Cutting Edge War Bond before, the Democratic Detonation is a premium war bond. That means it needs to be bought with 1,000 super credits before you can start unlocking anything. You always have the option to buy super credits with real money. 1,000 credits costs about $10 US. You can also buy them with medals in other war bonds. And you can also randomly find some during missions, so keep an eye out for the question mark symbols on your compass. If there is one thing you should focus on getting first in this premium war bond, it's the R36 Eruptor. This does excellent damage, and the splash radius is great for crowd control. It also is a rare primary weapon that can be used to destroy automaton fabricators and bug nests. You need to be careful about firing too close to yourself or teammates, but if you can learn how to use it, the R36 Eruptor is easily one of the best primary weapons you can add to your arsenal. The CE-27 Groundbreaker Armor is a good all-around medium armor with solid speed, stamina regeneration, and overall defensive value. It comes with a handy servo-assisted perk. This increases the health of your limbs, making them much more resistant to damage. It also increases your throwing range. That's a really strong advantage when it comes to placing beacons for airstrikes in the middle of an enemy base or tossing grenades from as far away from ravenous bugs as possible. There are two primary reasons to save up for the CB9 Exploding Crossbow. First, it's a crossbow that shoots exploding arrows, and that's awesome! Dropping an arrow right into the heart of an automaton death squad and watching it detonate is tremendous fun. Second, these exploding arrows do very good damage against tough targets like the Terminid Chargers. Just pull back, let it fly, and let the glorious pyrotechnics commence. Pretty much any time you have a chance to add a new booster you should do so, since everyone on your team can activate them and you can't have any duplicates. The Expert Extraction Pilot Booster reduces the end of mission extraction timer. On extreme difficulty, for example, this reduces the timer from 2 minutes down to 1.5 minutes. That 25% reduction can make a big difference when robots or insects that want you dead begin their onslaught especially when you're trying to make it out with some samples to buy your next ship upgrade. For more recommendations on the best premium items to add to your arsenal, check out our guide to the Cutting Edge War Bond. You can find that and much more in our Helldivers 2 wiki. For everything else, keep your eyes on IGN.